Good morning. Welcome to worship here at Redeemer Evangelical Church. We welcome you this morning as we gather in our Lord's house today. We're thankful that all of you joined us today as we remember Terry in our hearts and in our lives, and we receive comfort from God's word. Everything is looking at the screen and all, as well as in the bulletin that was provided for you um, at the door. So we begin in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. We have come together to seek God's comfort in our sorrow and to rejoice in the promise of the resurrection. Grace and peace to you from the God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ, who said, Come to me, all you who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. We pray. Lord Jesus, you wept at the grave of your friend Lazarus, and you consoled Mary and Martha in their distress. Draw near to us who mourn for Terry and calm the tears of all who weep. Calm our troubled hearts, dispel our doubts and fears, and lead us to praise you for having brought her to faith. In your rising from the dead, you conquered death and opened the gates of eternal life. Strengthen us with your word and lead us through this earthly life. Until at last, we are united with you and all the saints in glory everlasting. Amen. I've chosen three portions of God's word today for your encouragement. That's okay. I've chosen three, three portions of God's word for, you, for us today uh, to look at. Two from the book of Psalms um, and one from a, a great Old Testament lesson. This first psalm is one of my favorite psalms, Psalm 46. And I'd like you to think about it as kind of the theme of our worship today. In the middle of this psalm, the psalmist says, be still. That's one of those great phrases from the Bible, great words of encouragement, just be still. The psalmist here, King David, is talking about life as if it's turned upside down. He begins by saying, God is our refuge and strength. But then he says, he talks about as if the mountains were being thrown into the heart of the sea. A tsunami. There are many things in life that's, that at times make us feel like it's all turned upside down. And the death of a loved one is one of those times where we think it just, it's just not right. Things are turned upside down. But this psalm also reminds us that it's not just when we think of Terry and her passing from this world. We think of all the other struggles of life. And yet in the midst of all of it, God says he's our refuge. He's our strength. And I pray that that encourages you today as we look at Psalm 46. God is our refuge and strength and ever-present help in trouble. Therefore, we will not fear, though the earth give way and the mountains fall into the heart of the sea. Those waters roar and foam and the mountains quake with their surging. There is a river whose streams make glad the city of God, the holy place where the Most High dwells. God is within her. She will not fall. God will help her at the break of day. Nations are in uproar. Kingdoms fall. He lifts his voice. The earth melts. The Lord Almighty is with us. The God of Jacob is our fortress. Come and see what the Lord has done, the desolations he has brought on the earth. He makes war cease to the ends of the earth. He breaks the bow and shatters the spear. He burns the shields with fire. He says, be still and know that I am God. I will be exalted among the nations. I will be exalted in the earth. The Lord Almighty is with us. The God of Jacob is our fortress. Be still, he says, and know that I'm God. For the last 10 years, I've been able to visit with and minister to Terry. And through all the ups and downs of life, we, have, we kept coming back to this passage. Be still. Why? Because God's with us. And when God is with us, that means we have his love, his joy, and his peace. When God is with us, we have Jesus. And with Jesus comes the sure hope of the resurrection. And so we now read that great resurrection comfort. Praise be to the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who comforts us in all of our troubles, so that we can comfort those in any trouble with the comfort we ourselves have received from God. The Apostle Paul writes to the Romans, The wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life in Christ Jesus our Lord. Jesus gives us this comfort. I am the resurrection life. 
He who believes in me will live even though he dies. And whoever lives and believes in me will never die. And we read responsively, Death has been swallowed up in victory. Thanks be to God. He gives us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. When Christ, who is our life, appears, then we also will appear with him in glory. We will be before the throne of God and serve him day and night in his temple. Never again will we hunger. Never again will we thirst. For the lamb at the center of the throne will be our shepherd. He will lead us to springs of living water and God will wipe away every tear from our eyes. M. Terry, Terry Barrier was born on April 15, 1945 in Key West, Florida to Sam and Charlotte Hannon. She was married to Ronald Barrier. She worked at a hospital in Florida as a secretary before moving to Tomahawk. For 15 years, she was, has volunteered with the Tomahawk Food Pantry. Terry enjoyed music and helping people. She also enjoyed her lighthearted rivalry with her Green Bay Packer fans as she was a devoted Minnesota Viking fan. It pains me to say that, Terry. <laughs> Terry is survived by her son, Gordon Bobby Parks of Tomahawk, brother in, brothers-in-law Bob Barrier and Bill Wilmeth, and five grandchildren, Michael, Lance, Matthew, Sophia, and Angelina. She is preceded in death by her parents, husband, and daughter, Tony Schwarmer. During the last years, Terry's health continued to decline, especially as she battled cancer. Finally, it became evident that she would need more assistance, so she entered, entered Tomahawk Health Services. Over the years, Terry's health had been strengthened through her involvement at Redeemer Evangelical Lutheran Church. Finally, the Lord saw the struggles of his child. On January 1st, 2021, he sent his holy angels to lift her soul to heavenly peace and glory. Her body will rest with her daughter, Tony, and special companion, Bear, in Florida to await the resurrection of the dead. Blessed are the dead who die in the Lord. Yes, they will rest from their labors. The second portion of God's word that I would like to share with you today and, and spend a, a moment reading is, is that great Psalm, Psalm 23. Uh, there are many times I, I walked with Terry through Psalm 46, and we also talked about Psalm 23. In fact, during the last week of her life, there were times when um, I could, until the day before she died, I could only see her via um, live, you know, uh, you know what I'm trying to say. Live stream, whatever, <laughs> you know what I'm trying to say. Anyways, um, FaceTime, that's it. So I could only see her that way, but I would share with her um, portions of God's word, and this was one of them. The Lord is my shepherd. It's a beautiful picture that God gives us in Scripture. King David wrote Psalm 46, and he also wrote Psalm 23. And he reminds us that we're, we're, not, we're only on a journey in this life. It really is just a journey. Um, and we're walk it's like walking through this valley. In the middle of the psalm, he talks about walking through the valley of the shadow of death. The, he doesn't say the valley of death. He says the valley of the shadow of death. And that's because the sting of death has been done away with because of the power of Jesus and the promise of the resurrection. And Terry knew this. She grew in her understanding of this. And she died in this great hope of the resurrection. And so let us turn our thoughts to Psalm 23. And I would uh, ask if you feel comfortable that you would join me in reading this great psalm. The Lord is my shepherd. I lack nothing. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside quiet waters. He refreshes my soul. He guides me along the right paths for his name's sake. Even though I walk through the darkest valley, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil, my cup overflows. Surely your goodness and love will follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Just look at the last verse for a moment, where it says there, Surely goodness and mercy will follow me all the days of my life and I will dwell 
Remember we talked about in Psalm, 20, in Psalm 46, be still. Why? Because God is with us. While we're traveling through this life, we have to remember, and the, the, the force of these words in the original Hebrew language really means that God's goodness and love, they're, they're pursuing us. Because sometimes we try to run away from it, or we try to go our own path. And God always is trying to keep running after us. Because he wants to be with us. Isn't that amazing? God wants to be with us. And he wants us to be with him. And then, dying in faith, we get to be with him forever in heaven. Of this great truth, we pray. O oh Lord, hear our prayer and listen to our cry for mercy. In your faithfulness and righteousness, come to our relief. We are hard-pressed on every side, but not crushed. Perplexed, but not in despair. Persecuted, but not abandoned. Struck down, but not destroyed. With deep humility, we come to you at this time when our hearts are burdened with sorrow and grief. Lead us by your spirit to make faithful use of your word and sacrament, so that our faith will be strengthened to resist the old evil foe who seeks to destroy our bodies, souls, and minds. Help us and all who are grieved because of this death to look to you for peace, hope, and quietness as we face the future. Lead us in all things and at all times to put our trust in you each day so that finally you will lead us to your eternal glory at your appointed time through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. I'd like to share with you a song. Um, I didn't really spend a lot of time talking with Terry about music. I know that she seem to enjoy music, um, but I, that, was not, that was really wasn't part of our conversations uh, together. Except towards the end, the last month, uh, she began sharing with me more and more about some of the, some of the music and uh, some of the things about music in her life. Um, and this is a great song that reminds us, again, of the great hope, the great comfort that we have as we look forward to that great day when our journey will be ended and we'll be forever with the Lord in heaven. It's called Paradise by a Christian artist, Michael Schrader.
The next word of encouragement I'd like to share with you is from Isaiah chapter 55. The prophet Isaiah says this, Seek the Lord while he may be found. Call on him while he is near. Let the wicked man abandon his way. Let the evil man abandon his thoughts. Let him turn to the Lord and he will show mercy. Let him turn to our God because he will abundantly pardon. Certainly my plans are not your plans and your ways are not my ways, declares the Lord. Just as the heavens are higher than the earth, so my ways are higher than your ways, and my plans are higher than your plans. Just as the rain and the snow come down from the sky and do not return there unless they first water the earth, making it give birth and cause it to sprout, sprout so I give seed to the sower and bread to the eater. In the same way, my word that goes out from my mouth will not return to me empty, rather will accomplish whatever I please, and will succeed in the purpose for which I sent it. This is the word of God that I especially want to spend just a few moments sharing some thoughts. So when I look back, I realize it's been well over 10 years since, um, since Terry and I started talking together. And it's, it's kind of an interesting thing. It, 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 when you think about it, Terry probably shouldn't have been in Tomahawk. She was a Florida girl, wasn't she? All right. How she got to Tomahawk, you know, is, is pretty interesting, isn't it? But God wanted her here. That's the thing. When she moved here, of course, her daughter was here, Tony. And, uh, and that's how I met Terry, through Tony. Tony began, began coming to this congregation. We began, we began ministering to her. And that's how I got to minister to Terry. And then it just continued after Tony died. We just continued. And it really was a blessing for me to be able to minister to her to share God's word with her, to get to know her, to get to remind her all the time how much the Packers are so much better than the Vikings. <laughs> and uh, all the other little things that we, we, um, that we would kid about. But the, really the most important thing is I was able to see her grow in her understanding of Jesus. And then in the midst of all the struggles, there, was, there still was Jesus. And the last couple of weeks, I was able to see that more and more in her heart. It was about four days before Christmas when she was in the hospital. And they allowed me to go in and see her and visit with her and, and have a, a meeting with uh, all the, the medical personnel. And she really didn't want to go to the nursing home. I didn't want her to go in the nursing home. Because that would mean that no one could see her. Once you get in the nursing home, you can't see each other in this day of COVID. But it was what needed to be happened. But as we talked about that, even though she didn't want to go in, I reminded her, yes, I won't be able to come in there. Your friends won't be able to come in there, but Jesus will be in there with you. And he was with her. I wish I had all the answers to all the situations in life, and I don't. Why did that all develop that way? I don't know. But what does the prophet Isaiah say here? <clears throat> God says, my plans are not your plans, and my ways are not your ways. We don't always understand God's ways, do we? And how, but what we do trust and what we do know is that God is weaving in our lives this beautiful picture. Now, sometimes it doesn't look like a beautiful picture, right? Some of you have heard me make this comparison before, but I, I made this comparison. Um, some of you ladies, particularly, might have done needlework or crochet type of work. Um, if you look on the back side of a beautiful picture of, of needlework, it doesn't look so good because there's the knots and there's the broken ends. 
It's the front side that looks good. Our problem is that we're often seeing life from the back side. We're seeing the knots. We're seeing the broken end days. But God is reminding us on the front side. When it's all done, there's a beautiful picture. And on January 1st, God finished that beautiful picture. Again, even you, we can look back and go, there were some pretty rough days for her. But God is looking at it now, and Terry's looking at it now, like, oh, now I see what God was weaving all together. And the thing is, he weaves even in our own sins and our own mistakes. He doesn't approve of them, but he will take them and weave them in and make this beautiful picture. Because his word is so powerful. He says here that his word is, is like, this, like the water, the rain that comes down and the snow that comes down. It, it, it gives water to things. Slowly but surely, I saw God's word water the heart and the soul and the faith of Terry. And I'm so thankful that now she doesn't have to deal with any of this anymore. She's in heaven. She's with her Lord. She's with her Lord. And why do I know that to be true? Well, what did we just, what did we just celebrate here? Christmas. And what is Christmas about? It's not about the trees. It's not about the presents. It's about the fact that God sent his son. God so loved the world that he gave his one only son, that Jesus was born on Christmas. And in about a month, or a little over, under two months, we're going to celebrate Good Friday. And we're going to see Jesus, that little baby, grown up to become a man and put on the cross and suffer and die for our sins. And he's going to die. He's going to be put in the grave. But then, three days later, we're going to see him rise from the dead again. And it's his birth. It's his death. And it's his resurrection, those three events that remind us that God has something beautifully planned for us. Because if God would send his son to die for us, don't you think he's going to be with us? And that's why the prophet Isaiah says, seek the Lord while he may be found. Now is the time. I am convinced that some of the struggles that Terry went through, God used them to bring us together so that she could hear more of the gospel message. God wants that same gospel message for you. No matter what the struggle, no matter what the difficulty, no matter, how, as you look at your path of life, and you, you might think to yourself, what is this all about? To lift your heads up and to look to Jesus and to lead, follow his leading in your lives and to trust him and to seek him. I ask, I ask this at every funeral because whenever we come together and we are saying goodbye to a loved one. It's a reminder there's going to be an end to our life as well. And the question we have to ask ourselves is are we seeking the Lord right now? Seek the Lord while he may be found. And he is right here. Be still. Why? He's with you. And he will continue to be with you. That's what I told Terry as she entered the nursing home. Jesus is with you. And for all of you gathered here today, Jesus is with you. And because of that, we can turn to him and pray. Oh, I'm sorry. Before we pray, we're going to listen to the song um, in which, um, in which it's, a, it's a beautiful song where we talk of, where the, the writer is talking about sometimes in those lonely nights. And I was thinking about Terry, 
um, in the lonely nights, maybe at the nursing home, or sometimes in the lonely nights in our home. And yet there came Jesus, and he comes to you um, as well. Somewhere in your silent night. Let us pray together. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Eternal God and Father, even the clouds of affliction and grief seem to hide your face from us. We know your love remains constant and unchanging. We trust that in your mercy you have taken your soul, taken her soul, to its dwelling place in heaven. 
Help us remember that sin causes the dark difficulties of life in this world. Bring us to the image of the cross and the forgiveness of sins earned by your son's death. Comfort our crushed hearts with the healing balm of your holy gospel. By the power of that same gospel, lift up our hearts once again so that we live with the hope that only you can give, the hope that restores our vision to the joy of heaven, the hope that diminishes fears and leads us to walk confidently in service to others as your sons and daughters, the hope that makes our words, attitudes, and examples a light of solace and comfort for all we meet and know. We pray in the confidence that you have heard, that you will heal, and that you will bless. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, Lord, we leave today confident of your blessing. And the blessing we're going to listen to today and receive is a blessing often called the Irish blessing. And I pray that it reminds you. Uh, Terry is giving a blessing to you that God is with you. And God is giving you a blessing that he is with you. It is my honor to be able to share God's word with you today. We pray that it has strengthened and, and encouraged your hearts. God, I pray God has filled your souls. We also like to fill your bellies. Uh, we have a, oh, some wonderful food out there. 
So as we leave here today, uh, can, we're just right over here in the room next door, and there's all kinds of wonderful food. So we hope you uh, stick around and join the family um, as we um, enjoy a little fellowship meal together. Um, let's uh, pray for our meal. Father in heaven, thank you for the word that has sustained our soul. Now thank you for this food, uh, that it continues to, to bless our bodies and give us strength to live each day for you. In your name we pray. Amen. So just head out that way, okay? You can just follow on. Jane, 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 why don't you show them where to go? So. Come on out, guys. Rose, nice meeting you. Okay. What's your last name? Fintelman. Okay. All right. Are you a are doctor? Are you in the clinic? She works yeah. with us. What yeah. works with you? Okay. Okay. All right. Okay. Good to see you, Samra. Take care. Thank you. Come on out, guys. Okay. All right. Stay for a ham sandwich. Beautiful ham sandwiches. Oh, oh yes. They're from Geist Meat, too. So it's very good. Hi, Bonnie. Stick around for a ham sandwich. I'm... I don't have a reason why not. You, I probably should ask Bobby first, but uh, but I, um, I tell you what, if you want, why don't you take this one? Is this one okay? Um, or I, I don't know what Bobby's going to do with them. Which one were you thinking? This one is actually, this is actually the plant. Oh, okay. This one I can... Bobby, she was wondering about having a plant. Do you have any? That's mine, yeah. Do you have any does, thought on each one, any one of these? Okay, all right, sounds good. Okay. Okay. What would you? How about if I just lay that right now for there? Okay. All right, sounds good. But come on in, and have something to eat. All kinds of wonderful food. Yeah, well, I'll get, while you're eating, I'll gather this all up and put it in the bag for you. Yeah, I'll just put it all in. Okay. All right. Yep. Actually, this is this is your bag here. That's his. Uh, so I said, these are your cards and stuff. Yeah. So, well, come and sit down and eat, and then we'll gather it all up. Here you can take some flowers. Okay, it's shop. There's somebody's remains. Okay. Well, we can drop it. Oh, we can put it on the tear. Yep. Okay, sounds good. Oh, that's right. That's She's a good lady. Yeah. Go ahead, jump. one and or if you want them all because uh Lisa is it Lisa what Lacey yeah Lacey took one yeah 